I've been using Rotring 600 mechanical pencils for 10 years now, but I've been using this one for 8 years. This pencil got me through the IGCSE and A-levels, as well as my bachelor's and master's degrees in mechanical engineering. I used this pencil heavily for 5 years before I switched to electronic notes when I got a Samsung tablet in 2021, so in the last 3 years it has seen less heavy use. My first 600, which I had for only about 1.5 years, was irreversibly damaged when I dropped it on its tip. This brings me to my first and most important point, the 600's longevity. The tip is very fragile. The 600 is often regarded as a buy it for life pencil, but unless you're very careful not to drop this, it will not last you forever. I've had three Rotring 600s, and all of these have been dropped at least once. The first one was dropped twice. The first time, I was able to bend the tip back and use it again mostly as normal. The second time, however, after bending it back in place, I think something internal was broken near the tip, and I couldn't fix this even by shoving a 0.5mm needle through the tip. Yesterday though, I found that I was able to bend it to just about the right angle, but it's a lot stiffer for lead to go through it now. My second 600 has been dropped about twice as well, and has been repaired each time. My third 600 in silver was dropped once, and that was also fixed. So with each drop that caused damage, the tip was bent slightly and was able to be pushed back into place. While I can basically use it as new, there are more frequent lead breakages. It's not very frequent, but it does happen. A solution to this problem is to have a retractable tip, like there is on many other pencil designs, such as the Rotring 800, Rapid Pro, or the Pencil Graph Gear 1000. All of these mechanisms have their own flaws, however. For me, a very important part of the writing experience is the rigidity of the tip. I don't want the lead to be rotating independently of the pencil, and I don't want a wobbly tip. No retractable sleeve design I know of achieves both of these. So, tip aside, over the 8 years I've owned it, the paint has been chipping off a bit on my black 600, which is the one that I primarily use. I don't mind this at all. I think the brass showing through adds a lot of character and looks very cool. Some parts of the exposed brass have even started to patina. The neural grip has also held up very well. Some parts of it have been worn down over the years, but again, I don't mind this and it doesn't affect the performance. I quite like this as well. It still feels really great and grippy. My pencils with rubberized grips have not held up nearly as long as this. Lots of skin dirt gets stuck in the knurling though, if you use it a lot. This is kind of tricky to clean, but a needle works quite well. For the lead advancement mechanism, there hasn't been any problems and it still works like new 8 years later. The lead indicator is still stiff, but I don't use this as it doesn't have a 4B indicator. I can't comment on how well the clip has held up, because I remove it immediately from all my 8600s for comfort reasons. Now, how good has it been for studying engineering specifically? It's about as useful as any other mechanical pencil, except it looks nicer and feels nicer to write with. After picking it up for the first time, most people comment on how heavy it is and how nice it feels in the hand. About 4 people have brought the Road Ring 600 after trying mine. The pencil is excellent for drafting, and that's what it was originally designed for. By the way, if you're drawing a long straight line with a ruler and a soft lid, spin the pencil as you draw the line to get a consistent line width. This is one of the reasons I removed the clip. The other reason I removed the clip is because I rotate the pencil occasionally as I write, so that I can keep using the sharp edge that forms. This helps me get kind of an architect effect, where the horizontal strokes are broader than the up and down strokes. In courses like engineering, you do a lot of mathematics on paper. I think mechanical pencils are much better than pen or wood pencils for that, and the 600 is the best choice. The smoothly threaded metal grip and barrel made this pencil a great vintage toy for slow lectures. So, after 8 years, I think the 600 has held up excellently. I think my 600 looks better than the day I got it. The biggest issue is its fragile tip, so you just have to be careful with it. It's just something you have to deal with for any pencil that has a properly rigid tip. Now with all that said, in the last two months of my bachelor's and for the year of my master's, I switched to doing written calculations on paper to writing on a tablet. In terms of practicality and convenience, there's a world of a difference. The tablet allows you to not have a mess of papers all over your desk. You can also search keywords and find your past solutions immediately. Erasing is far easier and neater. When you're doing a hard question where you keep making mistakes, this is where the tablet really saves you. It is sad, but there are things to get excited about with the tablet as well, like being able to write white and black, and the infinite colours available to you. I do highly recommend the Rotring 600, but if you're getting it for engineering school, it's more of a luxury item. I now believe that a writing tablet like an iPad, Galaxy Tab, or even a Remarkable 
is a really important tool to get you through an engineering degree. However, now that I work a desk job, it's much more convenient to have a pencil and paper that doesn't need you to turn it on or open an app. It also provides a nice tactile distraction from the long hours of staring at a computer screen. Anyway, I hope that review was helpful and thanks for watching.